Hello guys, so here we are in Logic. This is just a drum session from the How to Make Liquid Drum and Bass video series. If you're interested in that, go check out those videos. We just go through making a liquid drum and bass track from start to finish. What I'm gonna show you today is just a really easy way to randomize velocity. So we've got a nice shaker here among these drum loops. Very cool, very catchy, very reverb, we like. Now, if we bring up the piano roll, so we can hit E to do that once we've selected the region that we want to affect. And we can do this across multiple regions as well, if you like, just by holding shift and selecting them. When we're in the piano roll, there's a particular option we need to have enabled so that we can see what's going on. So that is this little thing here. So it's going to show you like your MIDI automation. It looks like an automation lane and that's the sort of thing we're after. Now it will default to the last adjusted thing, but what we can do is click on where it says volume and we can find out what else is assigned to it. And you'll notice it says channel one note velocity under used. Boom, that's now gonna show us our note velocities. So we can see all the different velocities that occur in this pattern. Makes sense, right? And we can see that the louder ones correspond with the red notes. That's how velocity is displayed to us inside Logic. Now to randomize them, we need to select the notes that we want to randomize. For example, we could select all of them or we could just select a few different ones. We can select a batch here and we could select a batch here by holding shift. If we go up into functions now, we've got MIDI transform. And in here we have random velocity look. So just to understand what's going on, it affects the selected notes. It's gonna be random. You can choose some other options. You can do it scaled, quantized, whatever you like. We've chosen random, because that's what we were looking at. And here is gonna be the value amount it is randomized by. So you know that velocity goes from zero all the way to 127, because that's the full range of MIDI. We might want to limit this slightly. So let's say we can only have it be randomized up to 90 in velocity or up to 127 in velocity. Let's go from 90 to 127. So lots of the uh, notes we have selected are quite low. So we should see them all move up in level, but they will be randomized within this value amount, which obviously gives us what uh, 37 different values. So we can do select and operate or operate only. We've already selected our notes. So if we operate only, you see that's now given us random values within the limit of these two areas here. If I was to scope it from zero to 127 and operate, you see how it covers the whole range. So that is the easiest way to randomize MIDI and MIDI velocity inside Logic. I hope the video was helpful for you guys. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing and I will see you on the next video.